In which being there for yourself, it requires you to be selfish half of the time. Is it anything? Is it anything else? Is it anything? Yeah, 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 yeah,
be there for anybody else. I got to be there for myself. And which being there for yourself, it requires you to be selfish half of the time. And yes, I'm a genuine person. I don't like being selfish, but sometimes you got to be selfish in order to get to where the fuck you need to be in life, bro. So please get off your ass, bro, and get and chase your dreams, bro. It's never too late, bro. Don't ever let nobody dictate your future before, you know, you even get to see it, bro. Chase your fucking dreams. But with that being said, hey, y'all already know I had to give you a little motivational speech right there and there. But hey, let's get the fuck up on how to hear you. You know what I'm saying? Because I do got a PP and uh, yeah, yeah. So basically, what we're about to do, open up uh, one of the trailer doors back here, right? Because she needed me to open one of the trailer doors so she could check it to make sure that it's empty. And then we are good to motherfucking go. So, uh, with that being said, is there anything else? Is there anything? Is there anything else? Is there anything? Is there anything else? Is there anything? Is it anything else? Is it anything? Is it? Is it anything? Is it? <laughs> uh, yeah, we good. We good. Matter of fact, we didn't even check the inside of the motherfucking trailer. You feel what I'm saying? We didn't check the inside of the trailer. Let me put my glove on. Matter of fact. Yeah. Hey. 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 Y'all already know what it's hitting for. <laughs> Y'all already know what it's hitting for. But any goddamn way, we did what we were supposed to do. So with that being said, bro, I love you. I appreciate y'all. And let's get the fuck up out of here, okay? I'm saying that. I don't mind the cold, but that's too cold. Or too cold, like. Dude, take care of yourself. You too, man. It was really nice meeting you, man. Pleasure. Pleasure. Get one of those, because it'll help. Oh, yeah, I'm real. I really am a, like, I appreciate the knowledge you just gave me, because I did not know none of it. I really didn't know none of it. I really appreciate it. You too. Good fucking guy. Y'all already know what it is. Mind your business. Yes, I was in the bathroom. Mind your business. Don't worry about what I was in here doing. Mind your business. But any damn way. Just got done. Just got done saying, wash my hands with the roof. Seen that, you know, you know, opportunity to record. So, hey, y'all already know what the steams is. You hear me? So, basically, we got a rest area right now. We're doing our 30, well, our 10 hour break. Yeah, should I get some candy, bro? I've been eating too much candy, bro. What should I get? I don't think I should get shit. I don't think I should do shit, bro. Pretzels. I haven't had pretzels in a long time. But, uh, yeah, we got a rest area right now. You feel me? In the middle of no damn where. Just chilling and vibing right now. Doing it. I just started my 10 hour break. And, yeah, I can get the bathroom. So I'm about to go in there. Edit the rest of these, you know, edit the video that I made. Once I edit this video that I just made, you feel me? You feel me? Once I edit that video, I'm gonna try to get it to y'all as fast as I can. Am I tripping? I know I ain't tripping. Oh, is this a whole tombstone, bro? Yeah, somebody died. 1947 and 1966. Damn. I mean, no disrespect. You feel what I'm saying? It's just kind of crazy that somebody could bury somebody in the rest area. You feel me? But uh, what I'm about to do is just goddamn it on get right. Yeah, I wonder like. Do y'all ever wonder with those uh, those trucks? The inside of those trucks look like the ones that got the big ass end cab in there. I seen one with a whole bathroom in there. I was like, bro, if I get, if I could get my hand on one of those shits, on oh, everything I love, I live outside of a truck. If a ba if a truck had a bathroom like them shits do, I will live outside of a truck. Fuck rent, all of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? I will literally live outside of a truck. That's all I need. I probably wouldn't even have left one if they had a bathroom inside these damn trucks. You feel me? I just wonder, like, how that process go when you gotta, like, clean it out and shit like that. You feel me? I just don't want to do all that. But, uh, yeah, we got a rest area right now doing our 10-hour break. About to edit these videos. I'm about to make me something to eat. Once I make me something to eat, we're gonna be chilling for the rest of the day. You feel me? So, we got nothing but time. That being said, I will see y'all tomorrow. You feel me?
All right, y'all, we currently are in, god dang it, um, Michigan right now. I don't know which city I'm in, but I've been here to, uh, before. It's called Martin, Martin Salt. Last time I was here was a few months ago, but it was a whole, you feel what I'm saying? Last time I came here, it was a big, you know, misunderstanding in regards to the pickup number because, uh, you know, it's a certain number that it starts with because they'll give you multiple dispatch, give you multiple dispatch numbers. And then, like, when uh, the gate guard, when he be uh, in the guard shack, he be asking, he be like, what's your pick on them? You got to be like, which, uh, what does it start with? So you could be like, which number it goes off. But half of the time, you know, yesterday, once I found out I was coming here, I was trying to get on them yesterday, like, hey, before, you know, I even get all the way here, do y'all have the right pick on number? He was like, you ain't going to be able to find out till tomorrow. So tomorrow is today. So came here, I step by faith. We went up in there, checked in early, at like around 9.20, 9.30. I was like, uh, you know, he asked for the pickup number. He said, uh, should start with a, a 816 or a 526. I was like, bro, I don't got neither or. I, I said, I got a 510. And he said, let me get it. I gave it to him. He said, all right, back in, you know, back into the middle dock whenever that truck driver leaves. So, boom. Yeah. Tell me why as soon as I got damn it on back into the truck. I mean, I, uh, I come into the gate, right? Park into the gate, which is right over there. You feel what I'm saying? Right over there. Right over there. Soon as I get here, right, it's another Warner driver. It's like three Warner drivers here. You feel what I'm saying? So, the dude I parked beside, he had like a little Freightliner, but it like it was an old old model. You feel what I'm saying? It was an old Cascadia, and you know he's walking. He on the phone, so I'm pulling up cause because as soon as I get in, the dude that I'm supposed to be going after, he pulls right out. So you know it's an instantly you know start for me because he been in here for a minute, I guess. So I'm walking. You know he on the phone. He walk up, he's just eyeing me down, like, bro, I'm driving up because his trailer's in, uh, he's in the way, so I had to pull up, I had to slide my tandems and pull up and open up the doors because his his trailer was in the way of me opening up the doors all the way. So as soon as I get up, I, uh, I back up, I pull out all the way. This nigga's just eyeing me down, like, bro, like, what's up, bro? He, uh, he an old man, too. Old man, he on the phone, he on the phone with his wife because I'm hearing a conversation now. He on the phone with his wife, so his wife talking to him, and he just so blown at looking at me like he just looking at me because he see that the truck is new and he is like and his wife i'm while i get out the truck i'm walking he's steady looking at me so i'm looking at him at this point so she's like what are you looking at he's like oh nothing 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 i'm like bro y'all old dudes be in y'all feelings about these trucks bro speak up bro if you feel a way about you not getting a new truck speak the fuck up bro don't take your anger out on me bro because i don't got time for your old ass i don't you feel what i'm saying that's not my fault that you still riding around in the old truck not my fault bro like, I don't be getting people who get mad about a fucking truck, bro. Oh, man, I've been here for years, and I ain't even got a new truck yet. Speak the fuck up. Speak up. Open your fucking mouth. That's exactly what I did when I came back. I opened my mouth. I was like, bro. And on top of that, I knew if I got a truck, I, they already trying to put me in an international rack. Because most people are mad is because uh, since I came back, I got another new truck. Bro, speak up. Open your fucking mouth. Closed mouths don't get fed, bro. So what I did was I was like, look, I already know they was gonna try to put me in the international. I already know that they was gonna try to put me in the international. So I was like, look, I already know y'all gonna put uh, put me in the international, but I would recommend a Kenworth. Don't nobody ask for Peterbilts or Kenworth. That's your problem. Y'all always wanna drive Freightliners when they don't have them like that. You feel what I'm saying? So I asked for you know a Kenworth. If they gave me a Peterbilt, shit, fuck it. That w that would have been a, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, bro, speak up. As soon as I said, okay, bro. You know, I would recommend a Kenworth. I was like, if y'all can't get me, you know, a Kenworth, you know, I would take the International. But if it's high on miles, I take it. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you take a truck that is high on miles, what? You're recommended that they're going to sell your truck and you're going to tell you to come in to sell that truck and get you in a new truck. Exactly what the fuck they did. You feel what I'm saying? I got an old Kenworth. As soon as they gave me the old Kenworth, it's like, bro, what? They was about to put me in the old Kenworth, but that just to find out the next day that that Kenworth just got sold. They put me in a new Kenworth. Speak up, bro. Like, I don't got, like, bro, don't nobody got time just because y'all be so damn miserable that y'all not getting no damn new truck, bro. I'm telling you, ain't nothing special about these new trucks. It's nothing special, bro. They just look nice because they clean, they're newer, and you're the first, like, probably might be the first person to touch them. That's the only thing about it, bro. Ain't nothing different between this truck and the truck, that old one that you're driving now. So, you know, don't take your frustration out on me because I'm not the one to play with, bro. I'm not the one. You hear what I'm saying? I, I really get active in these streets. Hit the Missy Ellie on your back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You feel what I'm saying? But in the damn way, we're getting loaded right now, bro. I think, I think somebody wiped some shit 
on my motherfucking mirror, bro, because I did not see that. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. I ain't riding no motherfucking mud. I check my tires, bro. I ain't riding no mud. I think that's dookie. You feel me? But they loaded me right now. That's the red button meaning that they're loading me right now. And once they get done, I gotta go back inside to go get the paperwork. Once I go back inside to go get the paperwork, come in, pull up, close the motherfucking goddamn it on trailer, slide my motherfucking good ass tannins back, and then boom. Good as coochie. You hear me? But uh, yeah, with that being said. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because I think this might be our last load before we have to do another 34 hour reset because I don't get time back and on top of that we only got 11 hours and we gotta go all the way to North Vernon I think Indiana I think it's what well, ain't I in Indiana right I should be a truck I'm a truck and I should know that shit but I don't but uh yeah I think it's Indiana I think it's Indiana bro so the moment we get there, bro, I got it's like, it's like more about saving time and trying to find somewhere to shut down that. Because I looked on the map on a satellite, bro, that place that uh, it's going to a Lowe's, and the Lowe's that where it's at, bro, is not surrounded by anywhere. And the TA is like you know a couple miles out, so I think I might just uh, if I have the time, I'm just go ahead and slide to that TA. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm gonna call my dispatcher and let her know that's the time that we're working with. And once I get uh, done with this load, she want me to just go ahead and start my reset, which most likely she probably gonna have me start my reset because it's Monday too, so she should be in. Uh, uh, what else do I have to say to y'all? Uh, mm, nothing else, quite. That's basically about it, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, we started our clock early this damn morning, right? So we get here. So as soon as we get here, right? Yeah, I checked the damn appointment time. The appointment time ain't until 10.30, bro. It was only like four o'clock when we got here. Only four o'clock when we got here. So you best, you best know what we did. You feel what I'm saying? We got that extra rest. We got them, went to kick that motherfucker in the, off duty and got us a little more sleep, sleep. You hear me? So we ain't gonna be feeling a little bit more fatigue. And that's another thing I don't like about driving early, bro. It's because, bro, you be feeling fatigue after a while. Like I wake up with a boost of energy, right? And then once I'm just chilling and riding, bro, I start feeling that shit. And I just be like, Bro, come on, not right now. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I don't want to pull over, take a little nap, and then get back to driving. Bro, I just try to get there. So that'd be another thing. So I'm thinking I'm about to, you know, I ain't even gonna start my clock too fucking early uh, after this 35 reset. I think I might start it around six, seven. It depends on if they give us a bullshit load with an early appointment time. <laughs> Never know. But with that being said, I see ya when we get done. Okay. What is up with y'all gang? Right now we are currently at a goddamn old few stop. Now look, bro. Let me tell you how. I've been seeing some crazy shit today. I'm not gonna lie. Like today is just like what a fucking coincidence. Like I've been seeing some crazy shit today. So boom, y'all wouldn't believe it if I told you. But I'm gonna tell you in the motherfucking way. So boom, earlier, right? The first the crazy thing I seen was me driving from the goddamn um, uh, you hear me? I was driving from the goddamn um, uh, shipper. Y'all, I seen the first crazy thing I seen was two fucking roosters walking on the side of the interstate, side by side, like good. They the best of fucking friends. That was the craziest shit I ever saw. You know what I'm saying? Then the second thing I saw today was crazy. Well, matter of fact, no. Nah, I really gotta tell y'all this shit, bro. I was goddamn it, um, uh, I was at the ship for using the bathroom, right? So the way it is, it was like the toilet, the urinal, and the bathroom. So I got done using the bathroom, uh, I mean the toilet. Like I got done using the toilet, I came out, I was at the sink. A dude came in, me and him locked eyes at, at the mirror. I look up at the mirror, cause the mirror, they say out the mirror. I look up, I look left. He was right there. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as I look over, right? Boom. I look over. He locked eyes on me. So as soon as he come in the bathroom, he just started unbuckling his damn belt. I'm like, oh, hold on, cuz, cuz this ain't this type of party right here. You heard me? So I'm like, look, this ain't that ain't about to go down up in here, player. Before that ever happened, boy, you're gonna have to take me. You know what I'm saying? So boom. He give, he used the urinal, he takes his belt off, right? And he used the urinal, he pulls his pants down and uses the urinal right beside me. And they got like a little blocker thing, but it's only at like, at our shoulder. So we look at, we can see each other face to face. You feel what I'm saying? And he just looking at me trying to talk while he pissing with his dick out. Like, bro, who wanna talk? Why you think I wanna talk to you with your dick out, man? Come on, bro. Then the second crazy thing is, on my way to the fuel station, a man decides to pull over and piss. So the way he, it was like, they were doing construction, so we was on one side of the interstate, so they put like little blocks. One side was going the other way, the other side was going the other way. You know what I'm saying? So boom. We driving, he pulled over. He's pissing in the front of his goddamn own car. So the cars that's coming directly from his way, they can't see him. But to remind you, we drive trucks, so we high, yo, we see every fucking thing. 
This nigga, I see this nigga pissing wee wee out. Oh, I'm like, oh hell no, bro. I'm seeing too much crazy shit. Get me the fuck out of here. Get me the hell out of Michigan right now. You know what I'm saying? Get me the hell up out of here. Man, got damn way. Just to come to find out, y'all, this load is fucking urgent, so I gotta hurry up. I haven't ate all morning, so I'm about to go inside of the subway. I'm not gonna lie about that one. You know what I mean? So after I get done with the fuel, I'm gonna go inside, give me something to eat, and then we gotta hurry the fuck up and get the goddamn Indianapolis before uh, 10 o'clock. So let's get it. All right, y'all, so we made it to the damn shipper safely. So basically what I'm about to do is drop the empty trailer in this spot right here, 1127. Once I drop this trailer, I'm gonna pick up another trailer and then we're gonna be headed to a damn fuel station to shut down and do a 34 hour reset. So that was pre-conversation with my dispatcher before, you know, she had left the office. We already had this conversation. so. That what was told, that's what she wanted me to do, so that's what we are doing. You feel what I'm saying? So let me find somewhere to set y'all up at. Hey, child, that is the motherfucking video right there. You find out we backed that motherfucker up in here. We made it to goddamn it. Oh, where the fuck we at again? Yeah, I'm always, I've been forgetting where the fuck we've been going lately. It's just been a lot of commotion going on today. I've been seeing a lot of weird shit. I'm just ready to do my reset so I can get my mind off of some things. But uh, uh, where, where we at? Where we we are in goddamn it on. Uh, 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 we made it from Michigan to Indiana safely. You feel what I'm saying? With that being said, that's gonna be the end of the video. I appreciate everybody who's been tuned with me. I appreciate everybody who's rocking with me, who's who's been supporting, who's gonna uh, continue to support along this journey of mine. But hey, with that being said, this is the motherfucking video right here. So y'all wanna share a like, comment, hey, subscribe. I can't force you to do nothing, but I would appreciate it if you do hit that subscribe button to support your boy. And on top of that, hit that post notification bell to let y'all know when I be uploading them damn movies, y'all. But with that being said, hey, I'll see y'all next movie on game.